Over a mile and a half away, I could see the glow in the sky. At 4.15 in the morning, an alarm at these condo units went off in the dispatch, alerting firefighters in Sunapee. When they arrived, they found a one-ton dump truck and the corner unit on fire. Engine compartment burning as well as the entire corner and soffit area of that building. We did a primary search, found no one home, and then commenced our attack. We only had four personnel on our first arrival. Fortunately, the other units were also unoccupied, so no evacuations were necessary. Eventually, approximately 35 firefighters from eight towns, including Sunapee, were called to the scene. Unit 113 at 111 Fairway Drive, where the fire started, is the last unit on the road. We don't have any hydrants up here, so we don't have that, so we relied pretty much on tankers. The construction of the condos did help contain the fire somewhat. The fire breaks in these units, which were built in the 70s, have a fire break on the first floor, the second floor, but they do not have one in the cockloft or attic space. The fire was starting to spread through that space, but they were able to knock it down. The assistant fire chief says the rest of the units attached to this one are inhabitable. As for the cause, the state fire marshal's office is leading that investigation. In Sunapee, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.